Week four starts at the CMPD Police Training Academy, and it feels like any other week. Recruit class 193 is gaining comfort in their roles, some of which have changed. They recently selected a class president, someone who will lead them as they work toward graduation in April. Oh, it's a very big honor. Also, it's a very big responsibility. Uh, I'm 22 years old. I'm in charge of leading people that are anywhere from 21 to 48. So it's definitely a big responsibility, especially when there's so much, so many people in the class. I personally am honored. I, I personally believe it's just me being a recycle from 192. Um, even though I failed at something there, um, the leadership I had for being in that class and being through this program and understanding what it means to be not only be a police recruit but learning to be a police officer, um, I feel like a lot of classmates saw that in me and also just like my leadership I kind of displayed when I was going through, like the first weeks um, when I was going through with 193, they saw that and I guess that's, you know, made me class president for that decision. Four, four, three, dress off time. Three, four, four. Where you in? Get behind somebody. 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 Get it's called I go, you go, so I can do five, she can do five. Then I'll do five, she can do five, we're at 20. 20. Uh, After your year, Mr. Stroud. Yeah, we're facing off. Oh, he's going. Go back. Hey, Parsons, oh. still listen, go back. There you go. You're good. Yeah, we're missing two people. That's fine. They've been taken down there. Light shows rather than your left hand. Both can't even Flexibility is key. You got to get those muscles back to the uh, right place to form. That's part of stretching. I'm the worst at it. So is Sergeant King, but he won a minute. Lack of stretching causes soft tissue injuries. So make sure you stretch.
We're going to be working third shift. We're probably going to be working 10 days straight, late hours. You didn't have to come home and be a dad, be a mom. It's a hard, it's a hard way of working. It's a hard way of living. That's why we're pushing you here to strive for that. Because if you push yourself here, you can deal with it here mentally, you can deal with it out in the street. That's why the laziness and the attitudes and all that other crap, we're going to try to fix that now. As Recruit Class 193 is finishing up their PT, Recruit Class 192 is going to start theirs. Recruit Class 192 is a few weeks away from graduation, but they aren't done just yet. They're in the place Recruit Class 193 hopes to be in in six months. Let's see your eyeballs move. Yep. Keep the eyes forward. I know watching you game. You too, Stuman. Yeah, wipe that smile off your face. Y'all not done yet. <clears throat> I'm coming for you. I'll be down there in a minute, game. Week five opens. With the first of three attempts the recruits will have at the police officer's physical abilities test. The first two attempts of the POPAT will be practice sessions like this, while the third is the test required of each recruit by the state. We have two different exercises, right? So the first one we have uh, scenario one, scenario two. Scenario one, which is right here to my left, is going to be your chase apprehension drill. It has to be done in six minutes or less, okay? Scenario two is going to be the down officer rescue, which it has to be done in three minutes or less. Well, <laughs> I'm, nice. I'm ready. I'm just ready to get it over with. I hate that we're like last in line. Like our last names, yeah. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I got faith in you. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Give me a time. Two. For which one? For which one? That's pushing. Oh, two minutes? Two minutes for the, two minutes for the second one. 4.30 for the first one. 4.30? Yeah. That's, that's good. That's good. That's 4.30. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. You got it. All right, all right. It's all in your head. I want them to like yell at me, like tell me, like, like you're at 30 seconds. You're at a minute. Like I want that. 4.01 or something. Yeah. <laughs> but he was also had all that stuff on him. Yeah. I'm a competitor. How was it? What was your time? 144. Okay. You did great. You did great. Heck yeah. Definitely. If he can beat it on this round, he'll be good. Yeah, well, he's trying to make sure that he can beat it at this rate so the next time when we have best and so, yeah. As fast as you can, Go. as fast as you can move. Yep. All right. All right. So for, since this is the first practice too. Yes. So when you move this dummy, yes, there's sir. different ways to do it. I want y'all to learn the correct way. You can approach it here, move it up, deep squat, yes, hands sir. under, deadlift up, and keep moving. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Ready? Go. Thirty of them. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back around the cones twice. Let's go. All right, here we go. Strong grip underneath the armpits. Dead lifting up. Come on. Good, good. Start backpedaling. Start moving. Good. I'll tell you when to turn around. Keep moving. Turn. Come on. Keep it. Time. Good. 137. Set that dummy back up. Head even with the cones, please. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll look. Yeah, I'll look. 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 There you go. 29 last one. 
last one, 30. Two loops in the drag, sir. Two loops. Oh, two loops in the drag. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Whew. It's one foot up and just safely go to the other side. Okay. If you don't have that, try to get one toe into the, the netting of the fence mm -hmm. and put yourself over. Right. If, if that becomes an issue where you want to come and practice it a couple times, I can pull the fence out and all practice right. it all you want as long as you just get it safely. Yeah. How did, how did the drag feel? Did it feel that? Yeah. How's your push ups? I don't know, sir. I'm a little nervous. Okay, well, I think I'm going to break it up in tens. Go, yeah, so in the first set, see how it goes. If you got to break it up in fives, break it up in fives. Just take that one, two seconds, shake it out. Yeah. Push it out. Are you able to count all my steps? I'll count all your okay, steps. Okay, because he like, says like five. Yeah, I don't yeah. like that either. Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> Where the next step is going to okay. be. Yeah. You just concentrate on going hard and fast. I'll, I'll guide you the rest of the way. You don't have to memorize anything. Okay. Three obstacle course. Orange cone. Chair. There you go. One down, one to go. Safely over the fence. Underneath the culvert, around the bottom green cone, straight to me. We got three bag rolls. Your outside left knee touching will start your roll. Touch the deck. Here we go. There and back is going to equal one. One down, two to go. That's three down. 20 push ups, chin to block, fully locked out at the top. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Shake it out. Good push ups. Looking good. Bring it back. Touch that knee. Pop tall. Let's head to the obstacle course for the final time. This is it on this one. Clear that broad jump. Safely over the fence. Underneath the culvert and around the green cone. All right, come to me. Nice and smooth, 30 steps. I'll keep count. One, two, three, four, five, and three bag rolls. You're almost there. Deep breath, catch your breath. Here we go, here we go. We got three rolls. We got 2.55 on the clock, so we got good time. All right, one down, two to go. Short time now. Bring it back, there you go. You got one more of those after that. Yep, one more. Touch and go. Catch your breath. Smooth. Here we go. Last set of push-ups. If yes, ten's sir. too many, don't go to failure. Go to five and rest. You got time. Here yes, we go. Sir. 17, 18, 19, 20. Three bag rolls, and I will call it. Three bag rolls, and I'll call it. Return. One down, two to go. Come on, come on, come on. Two down, one to go. This is it, this is it. All right, four, one, three. I told them to take their time, pace. You know, as far as push-ups, a lot of people develop um, uh, like fatigue as they're going through the push-ups, as you're going through the pull pack because you're burning yourself out. And I told them just to pace themselves, you know, uh, break it up instead of doing all 20 at once, break it up, do 10, do five and five, or get as many as you can, don't go to failure and just break it up between that. Um, I feel like that helped out, that definitely helped out a lot of people today. You put his name is Carl on the thing. They lock it up. Seconds ahead of you, you don't have to memorize anything. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and step up here to the cone, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, make that work good. That's easy peasy right there. Earning grandma's mac and cheese right here, sir. What's that? Gonna earn grandma's mac and cheese right yeah. here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, start on this side of the line. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. All right, right here, sir. Oh, yeah. 30 steps, nice and smooth. One, two. 28, 29, one more, 30, two loops and a drag. Oh, yeah. One more loop. You're at 43 seconds, 43 seconds right now. 
Still under a minute. One more. Smooth, Todman. Smooth. Yes, sir. That's there you go, sir. Alright. Let's get this victim off the ground. Come on, come on. Come on, buddy. You're at one minute, Todman. Plenty of time. Stay smooth. Keep your feet underneath you. Pass this cone. Alright, turn and burn. Let's get him back. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, across that cone. Yes, sir. All right. One, two, zero, 120. Good hustle. Yes, sir. If you'll Thank set you. his head back up right there, sir, we'll be in good shape. Yep. My time improved from the last class and this class. I definitely felt like my upper body strength, I've noticed that. I was able to knock out the push-ups pretty good. Um, and overall, like the speed and my recovery time, uh, that definitely has proved as well. Oh yeah, 120. I'm just saying for Young, like, you know, for his segment. He was good last week. Now I'm uh, the star of the show now. <laughs> just, just 120. This guy got, we got 108. Let's go ahead, man. Bro, I'm telling you, you, you keep, you work, but the vest you're going to get. You just got to think, it's like, with the vest, you got to get used to that. But as you keep going, like, the workouts are going to improve you no matter what. You're going to handle that. See how you're doing this one. It's uh, six minutes. Right? Yep. Everyone's getting one. Like, Morning, sir. Man, I'm gas. Yeah. Well, just as soon as you, as soon as you run, just take off. You know you're wrong, yes? Who's that? Barack Obama. Barack Obama? Yeah, so I'm the president of 193, <laughs> class president. And I do this for the people of Charlotte, the people of the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, people of Charlotte, you know, uh, United States of America, you want to be the police officer, uh, support law enforcement. Pope was pretty good. Um, I feel like the class as a whole, um, we definitely learn, and I feel like you know, for first time, no one's gonna get it right the first time, and if we had any failures, it's right there. No one did horrible, and I personally believe that we're all gonna get better. Our, our physical training is going it's developed to get us better, and by the time. The, the third and final pull pack comes and it's time to test for the state, I believe everyone's going to pass this. Recruits ended the week leading into Thanksgiving with a course called Surviving Verbal Conflict, taught by recruit trainer Billy Etter. So Surviving Verbal Conflict is basically teaching recruits, in essence, how to communicate better. Um, some of them come in and some have the gift of gab. You know, they can speak, yeah, some don't. But communication skills, it, it's a skill set just like anything else. We teach recruits how to drive, how to shoot, how to, you know, defensive tactic stuff. This is another one of those skill sets. So just because they come in and they're not able to speak so well to people, they can build that. And this is just the kind of the intro class to that before they start getting into role playing stuff. It's just how to talk to people, how to deal with that conflict that is obviously going to rise. Um, you know, comes a time we go to put people in handcuffs, go to jail. Nobody wants to go to jail, um, but obviously they have to. And no officer out there. No officer wants to fight somebody when we can talk them into handcuffs. So this is kind of, you know, this is kind of the pathway to get to that, right? So, so to avoid that conflict as much as possible. I mean, verbal conflict is inevitable in every relationship. You know, husbands, wives, all that, but especially obviously when we're going to, you know, to make that arrest. Um, so like I said, just builds off that. We talk about rhetoric, you know, the art of persuasion. You know, I'd rather persuade somebody to, to go peacefully than have to force them any day. So that's all this is, kind of an intro course you know, to that. So. This is just a side course that I like to teach. They wanted um, somebody who was good with communication, investigation skills. Officer Tim Purdy usually teaches this with me. And then somebody from the defense uh, tactics side of things to teach us as well, just to look at it from kind of the opposite end of the spectrum, right? So that's why they sent me. And I'll be honest, when they sent us to this course, um, this is put on by the Dolan Consulting Group. It's their course. They sent us to be instructors. It was one of those things where I'm like, thanks for choosing me type of thing, right? But I will admit, even with my time on I had when I went to the course, man, I really did learn a lot. It's a super good course. I promise you, nothing you're going to hear today is like maybe a terminology or anything you've never heard before, per se, but it's kind of looking at it in a different light. So you will learn something. This is not BLET, so don't stress. There's no test or anything like that. Have a good time. Keep an open mind. If you've got questions while we're doing this, ask me. I'm here to answer them. If I don't know the answer, I'll find the answer out, okay? Be pretty candid. Um, so if you want to close your computers, you can leave them open. Or if you want to take notes, there's this weird thing called paper and pen these days. So um, feel free to do that. But again, there's no test, so I don't want you to stress about it, OK? Just sit back, relax. It's a good kind of end to your week, right? Getting into the holidays, OK? Any questions before we get rocking and rolling? 
<laughs> love it. Okay. Oh man, I love it. It's it's good. I still enjoy teaching. I've been doing it a while. One of the one of the longer staff members out here, but I still like doing it, so I'm gonna keep on doing it. Before anyone gets to taste their grandma's mac and cheese, recruit class one ninety three has a surprise uniform inspection. They'll be inspected for their full uniforms and everything that's included. They were warned about this possibility during drill and ceremony. Your left. Your left. Left, right, left. Your left. Your left. Your left. Left, right, left. Your left. Looks like they were paying attention, and they're now ready for the weeks ahead. 